Hey gang, it's me once again, PI7, and this time we'll be playing Red Racer. You know, there's been a whole lot of things going on this week, pretty much, and um, of all that's been going on, of all that's been going on, It's just been crazy, you know, really, really crazy. I think one of the main things that have been going on this week is, um, let's see, hold on. The fact that we've been getting a lot of crap, considering with the internet, I just don't see the point in why Congress has to pick on something like us. Just because just because of stupid shit like Like blacklisting the internet. Why? I mean, what's the point in that? I mean, you count you kinda wonder, okay, so So Congress is a dirty business. That's understandable. But really, why well, take it out on, you know, the internet? I mean, first it was about the gamers. I mean, you got idiots like PETA out there. Who just wants their tails and... Who just wants their tails in between all this, like, oh, well... You see, Mario did this and did that. And with that, it's just stupid. You really want to help the situation? Then why not do this? Take care of the real problems. You know, like health care. Health care could be taken care of. Schooling can be really taken care of. But what has the internet done just to piss you guys off? And sorry about this piece, but you know, I, I, I have to have something going on while I'm doing all this mad driving. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I mean, for those who did comment on the Peter article, thank you very much. Because really, you know, it had to be said. It had to be said that Peter just don't know what to do with themselves anymore. It's the same thing with most of these. Most of um, these organizations. It's, it's not about the cause anymore, it's about the money. I know, that was 
just totally messed up. Or was it? Not really. Hey, if I'm gonna properly beat this game, my issue is gonna be with the time, all right? But really, you know, that's why it's about these days. It's, it's not about the cause, it's about, you know, money. And let me tell you, that's the reason why, for some reason, I just don't like being part of a cause in which money is going to be involved. It's, it's kind of... It, it's kind of sad, but you know, uh, like take this for example, I'm an LP -er. and regardless of if I'm not really, regardless of what I'm doing, what kind of game I'm doing, whether it's an LP or not, or whether I'm just doing this as a glog of sorts. The point is, The point is, you know, I'm, I'm doing this because I'm doing this, because it's relaxing me, and because it's also a game that I've played since I, was, since I had when I was a kid, so therefore it's, understand, it's understandable why I play certain games on Friday nights or Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, on the weekends. I make it, I make it part of my policy not to do LPs on the weekends. I mean, the ones I'm doing now, consider them like my last LPs for this year. So, you know, if... If for some reason, you know, the month passes, I'm just doing them now just because, you know, it's an L it, it's it's just now a considerable LP that I'm doing now. Plus time just doesn't really have any time ar around around this around now doesn't really have no factor here. I have another game I still need to finish and I never did finish it because I've been on themed LP since so many things I think I've mentioned PETA and I've mentioned the internet blacklist it's funny how it just started off with you know video gamers I mean video games so now when you think about video games this is what you're thinking about you're thinking about a game in which you're just basically having fun with and god damn look at that <laughs> you, you know I think that's the thing now. Whenever I play a video game, it's about all about having fun. It's not about, you know, from what I've been seeing, many people are doing 
these games that are just that are just coming out like The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and um, Saints Row the Third and Skyrim. Of the big three that I mentioned, yeah. Um, they're just doing it for playthrough usage. Or LP, or, or as LP work. Me, yes, I, I am one of those people who are, who is getting the special edition of Skyward Sword. You know, the one with the gold Wiimote. The thing is, with me, I never actually play. I've, I never actually owned a Zelda game other than The Adventure of Link. Seriously. So this will be my first official Zelda game I've actually played since The Adventure of Link. Amazingly, I just want to try this because I might get into the Zelda game through this one game, and I've never actually, you know, played a Zelda game since. The, uh, the last good Zelda game I've actually played was Minish Cap. And the last Zelda game that I've actually seen watch was my girlfriend playing Wind Waker. Let me tell you, when you watch a game, it's pretty interesting. And I don't mean LPs, I mean when you actually watch a game, when you actually sit there and watch a game being played, that's, it's pretty interesting. And you, and you know, seeing that, you know, you, you play plenty of games, watching it is a pretty good experience. So for those who are watching this, trust me, whoever had been playing this, you already know that the timer was your, was really the enemy. The timer was really the enemy here. It wasn't the cars, it was the timer. So for those who have ever been beaten by this game, I am exacting revenge for anybody who has ever been beaten by this one game. <laughs> Especially this stage. Uh, for some reason, this is like the most therapeutic game in my list of old Nintendo games. Because I feel I can just keep driving. Plus, you know, three tracks. You versus traffic. Eight tracks. Oh yeah, this is doable. This is definitely doable. So, another question I had to ask is, if anybody is actually ready for Thanksgiving, or even worse, the day after Thanksgiving. For those who are working after the day, uh, 
I should say Black Friday. For those who are working on Black Friday, oh my god. You have my support. I mean, you have my support. I mean, nobody wants to see Black Friday. Black Friday is something of the most, the one day you definitely don't want to be part of during the holidays. And I mean, nobody want to be part of Black Friday on the day after Thanksgiving. And after all that eating, you just don't want to be around You really don't want to be around on Black Friday. It's just not safe. Like, take me for example. I plan to do the smart thing. Make this weekend count for myself. Get what I need to get. Get what I need to get for um, for Christmas. And that's pretty much it. You can probably guess why I'm actually playing this tune. And for those who actually know why, you do get a cookie. I mean, those who actually remember NES games, yes, those who actually remember NES games, this was the one game that just really ticked you off just because of the timer. So mind you, yes, I'm playing this legit. I am playing this legit because I am playing against a timer. Oh wow, we're already in LA already. Woohoo! Funny how LA just looks so 8 bit and so weird. You know, I remember when I used to play this on my NES, it took me about maybe, what, 20 continues just to get up to this one stage. Only because of the last 10 seconds would count down just as I'm about to reach, just as I'm about to reach the Go line. Seriously, it would take me about 20 continues. Now, mind you, I was a kid back then, like eight, eight or nine years old. I have this. I have this game. I still have this game. I just don't have my NES anymore because it's pretty much dead. It's a dead cause now. So I had to get rid of it. Like I said, there's not much I can really talk about this game. 
because well if you actually has if you used to have this game or you actually remember this game then you know what I'm talking about when I mention that that the um that the timer was nobody's friend The timer was your most hated enemy in the game. It could take a while to guess who actually made these pieces. I mean, it's weird. Or maybe not weird. Actually, didn't like to just go real fast. God, you're some assholes. counts as hot damn. Yes, that counts as hot damn. Oh, yeah. And let's not forget, you have 3D mode. <laughs> now, I remember 3D was back in the day, and Trust me, I know about this because remember in that video which I showed you, the Dick Tracy comic, the 3D one? It has 3D, it has 3D glasses. The only problem is don't wear them too long or they will definitely mess with your eyes. When I was a kid, I used to wear glasses. To this day, I still kind of wear glasses. Ow. I kid you not, I used to wear glasses when I was a kid. Not much has changed, really, because I can still wear glasses. I can still do it. Yeah. I can still do it. Just in my mic a little bit. Believe it or not, I think I remember I beaten this game once. And yet I have no recollection of it. Because I did see the ending once. And I was a kid. 
But the thing is, I don't remember me actually ever beating this game. I probably did, and I was over at a friend's house. And like I said, when you're when you're a kid and you see something like this happen, like you actually see the ending of a game like this, you're like, wow. And I do mean. When you're a kid, about eight or nine years old, you're still fascinated with video games. Basically just moving and moving and moving and just burning sunlight here. I mean, as I mentioned about Black Friday, I don't really go out after the day of Thanksgiving because A, we're still recovering from all that food we just downed. And most of us are watching the ball game, except for me, which I don't really care for the ball game. My friend, you have just got your ass handed to you. So give me a second. I'll be right back with Course 7. Thundering across the stars. Wheeled warning, explosive action. Lightning strikes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Lightning has struck, and there's a silver lining that I'm driving through. And you know, there's a power that comes from deep inside of you. Every day we're reaching toward the light. But then you know you got a long, long way ahead of you. But when your wills take you there, things will turn out right. That's what it seems like these days, though. I don't know why, but that's what it seems like these days. That's what it seems like, though. There's a long way ahead of you. Or rather, there's a power growing deep inside of you. Every day reaching towards life. Every day you got a long, long way ahead of you. But when your wheels get you there, things will turn out right. Don't stop the fire. 
No, just don't really stop the fire. Analog. Yeah, I actually missed that show. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch so many cartoons that, you know, some theme songs just, just stuck with you. Like, for instance... If I can actually remember this... From uncharted reaches of the universe comes the legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy on planet Earth. The Galaxy Alliance was formed, together with the good players in the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible mess threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Even though it really wasn't like that in the original version. Like Galaxy Garrison never existed. <laughs> I mean, I look at I look at Goliath, compare that to Voltron, and say, "Oh, they got a lot of explaining to you, a lot of explaining to do with that one." So really, guys, you got a lot of explaining to do. We're on the last course already. Sure didn't feel like it was long, wasn't it? Yeah, every so often I like to... Every so often during... During Fridays, which I make it a policy not to do LPs. What I will probably do is do a weekend LP bring those back since I first started doing it. weekend LPs that was separate from the ones I was doing as a break from you know the regular LPs I had been doing speaking of yeah I'm I had to apologize because of my schedule being so hectic. I've actually been trying to get some PR work done for my book, that is. That explains a lot because, as you know, I'm a writer, and the one thing us writers need is good PR. So basically, I've been letting people who know of me that I have a book and is available to be bought, and you ca you too can get on the goodness, which is my book. For fifteen bucks, that's about the price of um of a manga. And as of, well, as of late, seriously, as of late, I've been getting an offer to submit my, bu my book into an international book fair.
Now, considering of doing that, I may, I may actually do that. Just go ahead, put my book in, and just say, okay, go for it. Uh, the good thing is, I don't have to go myself. All I have to do is just submit my book. And as a choice of three different places, like China, one is China, the other one I believe is India, and the other one is Italy, I think it is. And they have this international book fair. I suppose that happens around this time of damn year. And, wow, that was a pretty large hit there. I mean, shit. And, um, what was I mentioning? Yes, the International Book Fair. And what happens is, since this is my first year as a writer, I am considering a put of submitting my book into that field. Just because. I don't know why, but just because. And as you can see, I am near the end of this, and for some reason, I'll be glad when I am at the end of this. But yeah, as far as I know, this being my first step as a writer, well, as an author, hey, why not? Rub goes far these days. But anyway, that's it. <laughs> that was Rad Racer. And congratulations! See you again. Of course, was, this game was based. This game was brought to us by Square before they were called Square Enix. So until then, I'll see you around. Um with another game <laughs> in which <laughs> which won't be as crazy as this one. So until then I have been the Tenka Age of Gaming Pookie Izzy seven aka PI seven and um this was Rad Racer which the Rad Racer just ran as, as basically had to run off to get his car from his woman. For some strange, odd, apparent reason. So until next time, <laughs> the tank IG has spoken, and this vlog is out. <laughs>